Hi everyone, happy weekend. I'm excited to show you today my big Etsy International Coloring Book haul. Um, I have one that's still in the wrap. I just got in the mail today, so I haven't seen them. It'll kind of be like a box opening. And I have a few more I got, although these, these are all from Cool Craft Book. I got about a week ago, and then I have some I got last month that I've never reviewed or done flips through of because I just haven't had time because I was having surgery and all that stuff. So we are going to do that today. I am very excited. And I want to start with the ones that are in the bubble wrap because I'm dying to see them. And this will include the brand new Llama Green coloring book. If any of you buy Etsy printables, you'll know that Llama Green has an amazing Etsy shop with gorgeous florals and portraits and just soft grayscale, beautiful pictures, um, very talented artist. You can buy for download, individual pictures. She put a coloring book out, I don't know if it was last year, I guess, and I never got it. I don't think it was the same one. I don't know, maybe someone can clear that up in the comments. This one just came out, just released. So I don't know if it's, they got more printed from last year or this is a brand new one. I think this is a different one and I didn't want to waste my chance, so I bought it immediately. Um, and if you have never bought from Etsy, any of the international coloring books, assuming you're in the US, I guess, although I do think they ship anywhere. Cool craft book, see here? That's the name of the Etsy shop. Absolutely amazing, fast service, good communication. It is pricey to shipping because you're shipping internationally. So I am I would recommend waiting until you have, you know, 60 to $150 to spend and stock up, you know, three, four, five books at a time that you want. So, you you know, just one book, a shipping cost of almost $20, $30 isn't really worth it to me. So I wait until I have at least three or more to buy. This is actually the smallest amount I've ever purchased at once, which is three, I believe. I usually get probably about five or six to up to 10. Um, so, but I did not want to waste my chance. Um, this Lana Green book sold out real quick the last time and I've always bought her work. So, but I never got the last book. So anyway, you get some cute little cards here. So here's the shipping receipt. There are a couple others I wanted, but I wanted to wait because I'm waiting for another one to be released that I don't have yet. That isn't released yet and I'll take those all at once and it's not one that's hard to find. There it is. Yeah, this is the new one. I believe it's Garden Lady by Lana Green. So it's hardback. I have Garden Lady by Lana Green, Circle of Nature by Carolina Kubikowska, and the new Eerie World Literature book. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I was a literature major in college. I have a master's degree in English literature and I, um, uh, you know, I, I teach college English and all that. And I was super excited when I saw this Eerie World Literature book. Just, and my actual dissertation um, that I'm working on now for my PhD in literature is actually on children's classic literature. So um, I'm guessing these, this is all gonna be fairy tales and things of that nature, but we shall see. All right, so this is Lana Green's Portrait and Botanical Coloring Book. You can see it's a dark forest green, hardback. It's thin, it's almost like a children's picture book. That's about the thickness of it. It's very light, not as big as I thought. I don't know why I was expecting it to be bigger, but you know, whatever. All right, let's take a look. We're gonna flip through this. Ooh, I'm gonna feel the paper. Okay. Now I love to use my markers on my lot of green printable pages. So this is gonna be rough because I'm pretty sure things will bleed through here. I can't use my alcohol markers. I'll have to use water-based or pastels or things of that nature. Ooh. So this is done. Um, cool craft book, I believe, ships from Korea. So this, yeah, this is the style of her normal Etsy printables, but these look like they're sepia. And usually when you put them on Etsy, they're kind of that the cool gray, but this is gorgeous too. So yeah, you have a um, very typical of what you see in a lot of the books from uh, Korea, Japan, China, a demo of what it could look like on the left and then the picture on the right. So I don't always like that because then I feel like whatever I do, it doesn't look as good. 
and I'm always like hard on myself for comparing and I, I like to do it my own way. I've never actually tried to replicate a picture, but I might end this one just because this will be great for, let's see, the paper is, it's smooth. It has a little tooth. I think these are going to be good for, I'll bet you these will be good for most pencils. The paper isn't overly thick, so be careful with water mediums. You can get water spots and wrinkling. Gosh, this is actually, when you do the Etsy printables, those are 8x10. This has got to be smaller than 8x10. Do I have a piece of paper? Let me see. Oh. Yeah, see, it's smaller than 8x10. So this must be... This must be a 5x8 or something. I don't know. But anyway, so... But these are supposed to be ones that aren't on her shop, I've heard. I don't know. I haven't seen any so far I recognize. And I'm a little disappointed because she was constantly putting out gorgeous pictures on Etsy. And for the last year, it really kind of stopped. I mean, I always go to most recent every month and see if she's putting new ones on. And I very rarely see any new ones. So I don't know. I wish she would still do that also because not everybody wants to wait for the books, you know, at least put out one or two a month. And she could keep up her business that way, make more money, I think, as well. Gorgeous. Yeah, very smooth paper. If you have really dry pencils, I don't know if that's going to work as well. Prismacolors will be great. Um, my second favorite pencils are Sioux Color pencils. Should be great. Gorgeous. Wait till you see... Um, the, well, actually, I haven't seen it yet. It's the Marielle Boudec portrait pack, and I haven't even opened it, but her work is amazing. Ooh, that's gorgeous. And I've never, I've honestly never colored a sepia picture, so I'm interested in how that's going to look. I will link all of these below for Etsy, assuming they're available still. And, um, oh, gorgeous. I'm not sure if all of these... One, one or two of these is from a private artist. You can't get through Cool Craft Book, and I'll link that separately. Oh, I love that very natural. Yeah, this is all botanical, right? So it's... Um, and a lot of her portraits on Etsy are very similar to that. They're like leaves and flowers and seasons and holidays. and Oh, that's gorgeous. I feel like she should have more um, dark skin or black skin, maybe. Love it. Love it. <gasps> Gorgeous. Oh, they're just so small because I do so many of her pictures. It's I'm just so used to them being the full size page. It's just kind of weird. But yeah, so here is a little portrait of all the ones you can do. So I'm going to actually get a stab at replicating one and then doing one my own way. Um, Because if you just being aware, if you replicate it, you're, you're going to be hard on yourself that it never looks as good as like the digital one. So <laughs> then you'll beat yourself up. Anyway, that is gorgeous. And I love it. Oh, wow. All right, Lana Green's new book. Let's look at this one since we just opened it. This is Circle of Nature by Carolina Kubikowska. And I have another Carolina Kubikowska one I haven't reviewed yet, a giant one. So this is very cool. It's like sepia and gold and that vintage look. And it's very kind of like rough too. Oh, love it. That's cute. So all of these are kind of in like as it states, circles. And Carolina Kubikowska has a very unique style. It's almost like pencil sketch. Um, there might be another name for it, which I don't know, but I call it pencil sketch. So you see like all these little lines that look like they're done by pencil. But they look really cool when they're colored. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, good. So we have, you could use alcohol markers in here if you don't mind the bleed through, which I generally don't. Very rarely is there a book I'm like, I'm going to do the entire book. I don't, I want to look like a gorgeous picture book after. I don't want to bleed through. I think I've only done that with like two books. Um, but her work always looks amazing with alcohol markers. And that's why she does them single sided <coughs> Copics, particularly. See, like, even though it's not an actual identified circle, they're in a kind of a round center shape.
Oh, and this is great paper. Look how thick it is. It's thicker than the other paper we just saw. A little more rough, so you get a little more tooth there. medieval castle inside of like a globe oh my gosh you know I have to you'll see as you look I show you these books I mean I don't mean to ding any 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 artist or anything but the books you can get overseas um, from Eastern Western Europe Asia the artists and the, the quality of coloring books is so much better than the books we get on Amazon it really is not just the paper the style I, I feel like the art is better the art's more original, they put more effort into it, they're unique, they're just like amazing, sometimes so nice you don't even want to color them. I mean, RJ Hampton, in all fairness, puts out some really good books on Amazon, you know, the ones with the, the frog and the midnight mischief or whatever, but you know, those are unique and good. The paper still isn't the best. Deborah Muller, of course, I love her, she puts out great books. The paper isn't great, but that's just an Amazon thing, but um. But it's just every book I've gotten from anywhere overseas has been amazing. And I, it's just, it's hard to kind of go back and buy the Amazon. Ones. And, you know, about Amazon, you go to go to search for adult coloring books, new releases, right? And then you, search, you filter by the last 30 days what's come out page after page after page of just crap. Crap artists, AI, people just slapping stuff together on Canva and AI images or clip art put into coloring books. Weird names, made up pen, pen names for the artists. Oh my God, I love that. <gasps> That's amazing. Yeah, so just, and the cr crump, you can tell because the covers usually look like they did it themselves. You, you just know, like, and if you click the page and, and look at some examples of the, the pages, uh, um, you can see there's like thicker lines around the center images like it's just a clip art pasted on there It's just so hard to like filter out actual good artists um, Good quality coloring books from the, the crud and I'm sick of it. It's like an overwhelm Everyone's like oh easy money. I'm gonna make money on coloring books. It's such a hot thing and They go into Canva and they slip 15 20 pages together and start selling them. It's just a gross to me and I I get fed up with it um, so to where I stop searching most of the time and I just go to YouTube and look at people's coloring book hauls until I see ones that look decent, even if it's ones I've never heard of. Um, so anyway, but with these overseas books, that never happens. So test your media. This is cool. You can put like a little alcohol marker, a water-based medium, a pen pastel, different pencils and see what they look like and then know what you want to use. I really like that. That's great. So this is an amazing book. Um, and also the hardback books is another thing you don't see much with, with any of the American books or the books you get on Amazon. They're almost always paperback. Almost always. Here's another one, Carolina Kubikowska, a giant A4 size. This is Rising. This one came out last year, but I, um, got this a couple months ago and I haven't done anything with it yet. I did get two of these because I bought one and then someone sent it to me as a gift. So I am going to give one free one away on my channel whenever I get around to that. Look amazing. Oh, oh my gosh. I haven't even looked at it. Look how huge it is. It's really big. So if I take that 8 by 10 paper, which is, you know, standard, it's lined up now. You can see about this bitch difference. Yeah. Gorgeous. Look at oh, Amazing. This book actually, yeah, it was last year. It sold out. And I was annoyed. I was telling everybody I didn't get one, yada, yada. Finally, a bunch came back in stock after a few months. I grabbed one, and then my friend must have known that I was mad because I hadn't gotten one. She bought me one, and then I got two. So, see, you see that same style. Now, don't be put off by the sketchy pencil look of the skin. It's totally fine. You can still use your skin tone markers, whatever. It looks really cool when it's done. Just use darker, like, use three different skin tones. And I can do it down in a moment, show you how to do that with. Um, pencils or markers but I love this look at all that botanical coming out of her face oh, so cool yeah I'm trying to think of which books have I bought on hardback from Amazon that would have been good there's one there was one called the was it the the ink house 
I like had a black cover or something like that. Look at that little village up here. It's called like the Ink House or something like that. Um, let's see what else are they had? Hardbacks. I'm sure there were a few over the last five years. I just not very many. Oh, that's amazing. I love botanicals. Earth tones are my favorite. Sometimes you can get a, like a Europe, a secondhand seller selling like one of the European or, um, you know, Japanese books or whatever on Amazon US that, and you can grab it, but not too often. Take a breath. Okay. These are amazing. So yeah, this book was very pricey. It was, what was it like? I don't even remember. It was, $40 or something, plus shipping. But yeah, so I have a free one. I might do some kind of contest and give one away. Or I might just sell it. I don't know. I do try to do a giveaway every few months, but I just spent a whole bunch of money on a bunch of new um, art mediums, so I'm kind of tapped out at the moment. <laughs> Actually, I probably will just sell it for maybe um, a little less, like three-fourths less than what it sells for new if there's any even available and then with media mail shipping it'd be like a few dollars so if anyone's interested in buying my other one of this copy just um make a comment below and then my email address is in the bottom of my video deep comment details i have to look up what it's selling for now if it's even available i don't remember what it was i got this a couple months ago um it was a lot, I remember. It's a big, heavy, hard Mac book with A4 size pages, but it's amazing. Now that I think about it, I have a giant box of coloring books I'm gonna put up for sale. Some of them are from Etsy. I need to do a video about that in case anybody's interested. Okay, so that is Carolina Kajowska's amazing, gorgeous, rising book. And again, I do have another copy. Okay, those are the three ones I got today. Love it. I wanna open this, because I have not seen these yet. These are, oh no, 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 we forgot the world literature. Let's go back. Ah! Okay, eerie world literature. You guys might've seen this in another video. It's probably been out. I didn't even know it was available. I, I didn't, I don't know when it came out. I hadn't bought any Etsy books in a few, maybe like, so why can't I get this open? Oh, come on, sticker. <laughs> this plastic is so tight. Um. Yeah, I got it open. I had I didn't know Erie had a new book. Let's see what I can recognize right here. Anna Green Gables, Alice in Wonderland, Curious George, Ugly Duckling. So if you're familiar with the Romantic Country series, you're probably familiar with Erie and she has a few since then. This is a little smaller than the Romantic Country books. You know, I have a funny, story about the eerie books i just don't have any idea some of these could be um european fairy tales or literature based folk tales gorgeous i can't get it all in the camera so i'm just going to try to center it here um i started coloring adult coloring in 2017 and one of the first books I got was the first romantic country book. And I had no idea how to color. And I bought my small set of personal color pencils. Never colored with color pencils, not since I was a kid. Oh, Don Quixote. Oh my gosh. If you guys have read Don Quixote, it's like this thick, no doubt. My dad read the whole thing in Spanish. Um, <laughs> even though we do not speak Spanish, his bachelor's degree was in Spanish and he had to read the whole thing for a literature class with Spanish degree and it's like 700 pages or something. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do we have here? Mm, some of these are not, I'm gonna have to look, is there a list? A list of, of course it's all in, is it Japanese, I think? Anyway, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, my first book was Miranda Country One. Oh, we have the Nutcracker. I attempted, you know, a few pages and they looked atrocious, terrible, like, like a child. I didn't know how to blend. I didn't know how to do colored pencil pressure. I didn't, oh, oh my gosh, Christmas Carol, Scrooge, love it. They look so bad. And I still have the, the book that I never 
touch the books again. And I bought all the remaining romantic country books over the next several years because I've always loved the pictures, but I've been too afraid to ever color in them since. I've never touched one <clears throat> since and I've bought all her books. <laughs> but I, it's like, it, 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 cause I go back and I, oh, Little Women, Alice. I go back and I see those bad pictures and I have such bad vibes about like how hard it was, how terrible they looked and like, it somehow it traumatized me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like I, oh, you guys have seen all my what I colored videos every month. So I mean, I have done do a pretty good job in seven years. Taught myself a lot, but somehow I'm just gonna have to get over and go for it. I think. Well, another thing is I love Mark. All well, my favorite mediums are ones that bleed through, and this is uh, that was probably Heidi. Yeah, that's Heidi. These are obviously double sided, so you can't use alcohol markers. But they're so gorgeous, aren't they? Look at that. All oh, the little dolls. Oh my god, I love dolls. Oh, that would take so long. Another thing is, these are so intricate, like, you have to have patience. Even to this day, there's Anna Green Gables. I have I don't have a lot of patience for the pencil pictures because they take so long. Like I've been doing a few in the Agusa books this month for spring and Easter. I've been working on two pictures for two weeks, and it's just like I could have done like ten pictures by now with my markers or whatever. <laughs> so and then I feel like I don't have as much to show you in my video at the end of the month. But that's just like a mental thing. It's me being a weirdo. Some of these must are fairy tales I don't recognize. But anyway, so this is gorgeous and I love it. Um, this fairy tale one and the travel one is my favorite so far, I think. What do I have here? All right, so that is the new Eerie World Literature book, which I only saw, I didn't see a ton that were um, adult literature. Okay, now we can open the Mary Ellen Bedeck portraits. Woo! Okay, so you get, it comes like this, you have this beautiful little card oh well she writes and signs it that's so sweet oh, amazing let's open this oh wow what's all this bookmarks cool oh, i love that you get to mark your calling pages what you're currently working on mariello budek Another one is Plastic Nightmares. Plastic Nightmares. Do I have to pause this again? Or am I going to get it right open? That last one took me like five minutes to get open, so I had to pause it. Here we go. This one's coming right off. Okay. And as you're all rolling your eyes. There we go. Oh my gosh. Love it. So it's heavy. It's bound. Like she does it her own binding kind of a scenario. Thick and heavy. <gasps> Gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Test your mediums. Oh my gosh. The paper is so thick. Look at that. It's like, look how thick it is. It's like poster board or something. Oh, oh this is a really tight spine. Are these perforated? They're not. That's okay. Oh, aren't they beautiful? This is like A4 size also. Wow. Very thick. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It just flops back. Woo. Wow. So this is water medium galore for this book. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous hair. I think I'll do a tutorial on one of these on my channel. If anyone's intimidated by skin and hair, I can show you how to do skin with my Copics and we're using just a few colors you can buy individually on Amazon. Look at those tattoos. Amazing. Oh my gosh, I have to hold it. It's sliding everywhere. Hold it in the camera. It's so heavy. Now it is true. I'm getting closer to the back. This bulge is getting bigger. Just to really crack that spine and flatten it. Amazing. Look at that. Look at that hair. All that hair. I even love it. 
Oh, this is really hard to open, hold open. But it's really stiff. Oh, does it come apart? I might have to disassemble the book. It's very thick. It'd be hard to color the ones toward the back. She might want to rethink that and do something more spiral bound or sell these as loose images. Does it come out? I gotta look at this. It's driving me nuts. No, they're glued. I think they're glued right there. Darn it. She should rethink that. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just see. Solve that problem, huh? <laughs> laughing my ass off. Well, okay, well. There you go. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> this is a pause camera moment. Oh, I'm just laughing. Oh, such a moron. That's all right. It's not a hard month. Well, they looked good. I mean, they were sealed tight in there, like at the crease. Okay. Well, now see, I just solved a problem for you guys. So if you buy this, you don't have to go through the misery I just did. All right. Okay. Thank goodness. Well, I was about to say she should rethink this. She did rethink it. I'm the one who had to rethink it. All right. Well, so did they all come apart or just those? Okay, yeah, yeah. They See, look. Oh, look, though. See, they're bent. Yeah, I thought these were glued tight. Oh, poo. See, the first ones, though... And the front are bent. Look at that. Shoot, see, because of the binding. But is that my fault because I was trying to bend to get it open? Yeah, so, okay, I think it, I guess I could have break, broken that tab off and gotten them out. Okay, so just bend them back. All good. No big crisis. Well, that was hilarious. Okay, Mary Ella Budex, Beautiful Portraits. Everybody learned a lesson here today. Next, I want to show you these. Very excited. These are amazing. These three books are from this absolutely amazing artist. Um, you can buy them in a three pack. You can also buy them individually um, from her Etsy shop. I believe it's, she might be Polish artist. I've done two pictures in this one, but I'm going to show, and I've, working on two in this one. I got these last week. I've been I just loving them. I just dumped right in. So let me start showing you the flip through. The paper is amazing. They're cute. They're little. It's not little, but like, let me do a comparison. That's about how big they are next to a piece of paper. <clears throat> I wish I had a tape measure, but the paper is amazing. Here's some of her other books. Um, and these with the spiral lay open, <laughs> I'm like that last one, and it's thick, thick cardstock, and I've been doing mine with my alcohol markers, and it looks amazing. Maybe I'll even show you the one I did in the other book. And these are all like nature, botanical, um, they're not, it's not perforated, and by the way, I forgot her name, and I can't read it. But I'll link these below. It's Vladis, Vladislava Schafferhans. If I'm pronouncing that right. I'm funny. All right. I talk too much. Yes, I do. Okay. I aim to entertain. Very thick. Look. Again, just like the Mariella Wood X. Oh, look at that one under the water. And I love these because they're smaller. You get them done faster. They blend amazing. I've done my Shin Hand Touch and my Copics on the other one, which I'll show you. Looks incredible. It's so easy. They, the ink stays wet long enough where you can switch out your markers and continue blending before it dries, which I love. I haven't tried much pencil yet. Actually, I did do pencils on some leaves. I can show you. It's hard to turn these bigger ones. They always get caught in my... Oh, there's... Actually, I did start one on there. I don't want to show you that one. 
that's a work in progress but it does bleed through obviously look at the alcohol markers but that's okay because i don't care about the other side this is great for spring and summer oh addy she calls herself addy um love i love this book so much i was very happy okay i'm gonna flip right to one i did so here it is but the oh, gorgeous this was done i did this in like an hour and a half and it was done with my shin hand touch alcohol markers which are on par with copics and did a little, gl gl little glitter gel pen here but look how gorgeous and they bl it blends like all that grass was just like three different shades of green um, there's another one I've started, but I'm going to save that one. I haven't gotten very far yet. It's not easy to turn these pages, you guys. I'm going to skip my current whip so you can see that at the end of the month. Another one I'm working on. Alcohol marker. They gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I love, I mean, it just feels like silk the way the marker's gone. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that one. I think these are like French countryside or I don't know, some kind of countryside picture. European village. Did I skip one? See, it's so thick. I keep thinking I skipped one, but I didn't. Still laughing at what I did to the, that book. I'm gonna have to make sure I get the crease out of those first few pictures. Uh, didn't even occur to me. I thought it was completely like glued in. I used to do self binding on a self published magazine I did, thick color magazine, and it had those tab things on the, the left side, but the pages were glued in tight. So even if that came off, they were glued. It, that's a type of a binding called not saddle stitch, but it's um similar so I was wrong love that one these ones look like they're just like a little gorgeous little like postcard type ones what does this say celebrate six years this year this is my tenth 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 book I only have three I gotta get some of your other books I love them. All right, let's look at this last one. I did do two pages in here. This is her fairy tales book. It's amazing. It's a hardback. This is one of the ones where I don't want my mediums to bleed through, where I want to do all of the books. Uh, pictures. And they are kind of like drawn, you know, they're single sided. The paper's more cream than white, just so you know, it's got like that cream color tint they're very thick not quite as cardstock as the last one I've done my two different types of pencil in here and I tried the Amazon basics pencils and they were very hard to blend in here because they're such hard pencils these are gonna be better for like a softer pencil I think but yeah all original there's so many pictures in here there's like 50 or 60 fairy tales yeah so I bought these three books in a three pack look at that one I want to do that one there's one I started I don't want you guys to see till I finish I will show you the one I did with pencil though um faster we're gonna be here for a long time so this one I did do with Derwent color soft pencils they didn't blend great I'll be honest um I don't really like those pencils I never really use them maybe it's the paper I'm gonna have to try them on something else it was very hard to blend very scratchy dry I'm uh, not a fan my super color pencils would have been a lot better so but my goal has been to start using all my pencil sets this year and see what I like and don't like because I have like 20 sets I've gotten over the years from gifts and 
different things like that and I have barely used any because I never really liked pencils because of my traumatic romantic country experience <laughs> in 2017. I had never touched pencils for years. Oh, I'm so funny. All right. Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, Swan Princess. I'm going to be here a long time. Princess and the Frog. I don't know all what these scenes, Rapunzel again. I'm not sure what all these scenes represent at first glance. There's Snow White. Look how many pictures are in here. It just goes on and on. Like, it took me two years to do this book. I did make a goal. Oh, love that. I did make a goal. I'm going to start doing one complete book per year. Because I've never finished a book. I always just bounce around so much. So, that is my goal. That will start in 2024. So, this is amazing. It's a very heavy, gorgeous quality book. So, I will link her pack below. Highly recommend it. I still have some more here. Oh, gosh. This is Terra Enchant um, by Mary Boo. It's a French book, Carnet de Coloriage. And it's very small, kind of like the Carolina Kubikowska style, where you have to use a lot of your fine liners, really small pens. Um, and you got these little worlds little worlds like here we have a, a map of africa you know on the different continents north america but some of these i would never do there's just too many small details and you know i'm not such a fan of the little details but there's a couple i'll do like the alaskan kind of landscape like this is hidden waterfalls and hidden everything like it's just You'd have to have very um, sharp pencils or f the fine liners. This one is gorgeous. Like it's like a tapestry with this kind of Holland landscape with the windmills and the tulips and everything. I'm going to try to do one this month. I picked one. An easy one. I'm going to try. And, you know, I bet it's going to look amazing when it's done. Oh, you can use gel pens in this too. Yeah, gel pens. Gel pens. Oh, that's cool. The kind of Halloween y autumn scene inside of a gourd, a pumpkin. I want to try this one. So we've got like a black bear, you got kind of Alaskan wilderness, maybe North Amer um, Northwest, which is where I live because we got the blackberries and the flowers. Get the so detailed though, like it's kind of intimidating. There's a good mermaid for mer month. May's mer month again, very thick paper. This one is very white. This is tropical. Look, let's see, look up close seashells and things like that. This reminds me of the mythographic books a little. Oh, that artist palette, but it's actually a landscape. That's amazing. Acorn. This reminds me of another book. I can't think of it though right now. Circle of Life, I think. Who did that book? Was that Coco Wild? Gorgeous. Amazing. Yeah. So it can look like that when it's done. Terra Enchant, landscape, enchanted landscape. That's what that is. Um, all right, so I have another one. This is called Pandora. Another book I believe might've been from Korea, from Cool Craft Book. Let's take a look. Kind of fantasy, fairy tale-ish. Wow, paper's really smooth. Like silky almost like a shine to it wow so we have a double page 
These books are big. It's hard to get them in my camera. So we have a prologue. This is going to be told like a story. Okay, so they're double-sided. So way through fantasy type landscapes. Wow, there's a lot of white space here. That's unusual. Not sure why. Oh, here we go. Not sure how much I'm loving this book. Hmm. This might be a, a resale. I do like that one. Um, it's hard to get flipped through sometimes of these newer books. This one actually was from last year, and I have been having it sit here in this pile I haven't reviewed in several months since I got it. So it's kind of like an Alice theme. Yeah, a lot of white space on the page, so you have to really get into your know how to do backgrounds for this one. I'm not overly impressed. Hmm. It's not making me go, ooh, ah. Like, I, I haven't seen one that I've been like, ooh, I want to do. Um, not sure how much I like that one. That's going to maybe be a resale book. I'm going to put that in a separate pile. All right. We have this gorgeous little bunny one here. Little bunnies and critters. This is a gorgeous book. I love how they give you kind of some... Um, ideas for blending, coloring. What's the name of this book again? Yeah, I can't. I'll have to link it below. Yeah, I can't read it. So this one is told kind of like stories. And you have two sides to the page. It's kind of romantic country-ish. A little bit. Lots of forest animals, springtime animals, cute little scenes. I do like this book. Very cute. Very, very cute. This is like tale number two, that kind of thing. Oh, <clears throat> is that Puss in Boots? Is this like a Wizard of Oz? Or is this? It might be fairy tales in here. I, oh, look at that Aladdin. Okay, so the title of this book might have, I don't remember. Oh yeah, Cinderella, this might have been some kind of a fairy tale book. Eh, a bad memory. What's that look like? <laughs> kind of reminds me of like the Hello Kitty characters, um, the San, Sanrio characters a little bit. Nyan Burger Shop. Kind of Peter Panish. Wonderland. Me likey. Ooh, I'm just gonna get my little pony. What is the name of this book? I, another one I got a couple months ago. It's been sitting here in this Etsy pile. I've been waiting to review. Oh, I'm so bad with book names. Oh, underwater. This would be good for Mer Month. Christmas. Winter. Cinderella. I love this book. I love it. Oh, bonus. Bonus, bonus, bonus. Bonus pages. Is there a name of an author in the back here? Oh, yeah. These are the other two this artist has done. The mouse one I have. I don't think I have that one. What's the name? Printed in Japan. It's Japanese. Website. HTTP slash slash K-O-B- a s a y u dot com slash kobas koba sayu k o b a s a y u on Twitter. Okay, gorgeous, love it. I have only one or two left. I believe this. I love this one. It's like a journal. It's hardback. It's gorgeous. I think this is Girl with Flowers. I don't know if this is like number. There's a couple of them now. This might be number two. But it's got that bright white, pretty paper. And it's another one of those ones where you have, you know, the picture on the left and the illustration on the right. And you can, do, you know, try to replicate it. 
Definitely smaller than the Lana Green book, but that same style. It'd be nice to do your pencils in here. Is this girl flowers? Need at the front. Oh, da, 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 da. No. That's okay. I will find it on my order history and link it below. Love that. Oh, that's so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This one you probably want to use your pencils. Oh, like I said, cancel um, just because you don't want the illustrations, the gorgeous illustrations on the other side to be ruined. If you have any questions about any of these books, please message me in the comments below. Or if the link doesn't work or something. This, these kind of books are really good if you're learning to color with colored pencil and want to learn how to blend. You can try to just get a full set of, you know, decent quality pencils, you know, and kind of copy with the shadowing and everything. Practice your blending. Just use a very soft hand, like a soft touch. Don't press too hard. Beautiful. Oh, love that. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love it. Christmas spread. I gotta do that one. Is there something on the back? No info on the back. So, sorry, I should have written all those down before I started the video. My last one is an older one by Momo Girl. It's a couple years old. It's Mirage. And I have um, Momo Girl's other ones. Did not have this one. It's amazing. And of course we have these look more like oil paintings, but I'm sure they're done digitally. Some of the pictures. And of course you can do your own. And what I love about them is they have a light gray scale. And I think it would look really beautiful. Um, and single on the other side. You can use markers. Which is brilliant. And I love that. Oh, gorgeous. Amazing. Really sweet pictures. This would be great for like Winsor Newton markers or Bic marker. Um, Blick. Not Bic. Blick. Markers. This is, I think, the, my favorite one of all the ones of hers that I have. There's Girl With Song, Girl With Music. Um, there's oh, Character One, which I can't remember the name of. I'm just going to skip the blank page. Look at that. Oh, it looks like an old-fashioned iPod. <laughs> These are good old days. I remember when we all had like the iPod shuffles before we had iPhones. Boy, have we come a long way. Gorgeous. I love this book. I'm skipping the blank ones, but there's a blank page in between. Just so you know. I have a huge supplies haul video I need to do. I'm just behind. Maybe I'll see if I can get that done for tomorrow. Or I'll just do that next weekend. So these are a little more, you know, intermediate or advanced. So if you're brand, brand new, I don't know if you want to start with these, but um, that is Momo Girl's Mirage. Gorgeous. Thanks everybody for watching. Sorry these videos were so long. Hope you found something you like and I'll link everything below.